Hello and once again, good evening YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to the Come Cause Games channel and welcome back to some more of this game called uh, The Fast and the Furious. No further qualifiers. We are in fact approaching a roll-up race. It is also in fact um, 4.08 a.m. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fast that so we just fucking blew past this man. Could you imagine? The oh, he's flashing his lights. <laughs> you see that? He was flashing his lights behind me. Or is he trying to use uh, his signal to go around this fucking traffic piece? Okay, so we've got this dude just driving a Mazda Speed 6. <laughs> Can it match the tenacity of the Paul Viper? I'm gonna go with Gnaw. Personally, if I saw this shit rolling up behind me, I'd be fucking concerned. Like, severely concerned. <laughs> Dakey dropped too far back. No shit. Alright, well that's my third roll-up race completed. Anyway. Today is the day that we finish this game off. And in preparation for the shenanigans that are going to take place in this session, I took the liberty of doing some drifting practice in Juice 2 on important nights. <laughs> it was nice to play a game where the physics engine wants you to drift instead of not wants you to drift. So that was good. Um, yeah, this is what I came to get. I, I decided we should do this final session with a boss car. We have not played with a boss car like this entire playthrough. And why not any other boss car but, like, the one from the actual movie? This Nissan Z33. 460 horsepower and possibly actually set up to do drifting. Because I'm starting to believe it's very possible that the Viper is not good enough for drifting. <laughs> it's not really designed for drifting. But then there's this car, this this 300, this, well, Z33, completely different from any other Z out there, you know? Maybe this car, maybe this car would be good enough to drift in. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. All right. So here's this car. Um, it does not appear to have nitrous. An interesting decision. Interesting creative choice, to say the least. Oh, yeah. Oh, it slides. Oh, it's slippery. It's a slippery salamander, to say the least. All right. Let's get back to Redacted Mountain. We have five more cars to beat. I mean, this is going to be like two episodes at most. If anything, this is probably going to be one episode. So let's just cut to the chase. Yes. It is the final group of losers in the Fast and the Furious game. And I mean, it's been a wild ride. Not much has happened. <laughs> I'll admit, not much has happened. <laughs> but we have, in fact, played a video game on this day. All right, the camera slowly pans down to the latest group of losers, and they're driving Nissans. A. Nikki Ken. Known by many as Aniki Ken or Big Brother. Ugh. My grandma used to watch that. This guy is one of the oldest drifters still running the tow. Some say he might even be one of the first in Yokomaha Mahama de Baba de Bippity Bopti Boop. See, the thing is, is that Yamaha is a brand, but then you have Yokohama. It's just, it's, they're so similar. They're such similar names. Is this racist? Whatever. The point is, I don't know how to pronounce this shit. But no one knows for sure. These days, his bad vision makes him one of the wildest drifters out there, if not by choice. When he can be troubled to put on his glasses, Anakin can be found judging local drift battles and giving tips to up-and-coming drifters. Like, die! Oh! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, did you know there was a plot in this game? <laughs> Fucking Dai was like, you know, teaching you how to play the game and shit. And we talked to him literally once, and then he said, fuck off, get your own car. <laughs> oh my goodness, the lighting is horrendous. 
I have made no edits in post, by the way, throughout this uh, entire playthrough. I have just allowed the game to speak for itself. I have not given a... Excuse me? Oh, it's a fucking dr It's a grip battle. It's not a drift battle. Oh my goodness gracious. When they say he's a wild one, they're not kidding. He's also fast. I really picked a great time to pick a car with no night. Oh, okay. Looks like we're not winning this. I'm out here fucking the car kicks into an actual drift. I'm sitting back here like, excuse me, where's my fucking points? I know that you, you don't you like to not give me fucking points, but goddamn dude. This is a bit much, don't you say? Wouldn't you say this is a bit on the much side? Oh my god, can the car just drive? Yeah, so we've definitely played a video game throughout this playthrough. This has definitely been a video game that has been played by me. I think I'm not winning this, by the way. I picked a great time to not have fucking nitrous, it must be said. Oh my goodness, that was the laws of physics taking over for a second. But the good news is, this car might actually give us some good drifting moments, so that'd be pretty cool. Can this dude wreck? I feel like I'm at a handicap just from the fact that I don't have nitro. That would make this just infinitely easier. That's what you really should do, is just a no nitrous challenge on this game. Now that would make it actually, like, you know, somewhat challenging. <laughs> somewhat challenging. But in any case, I might catch this motherfucker, actually. He's going very slowly through the corners. Go, 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 go! I'm gonna assume the finish line is around this corner and we're gonna have to start over. Oh my goodness, there's, this race is still going. Boy, this would be the fucking comeback of the century, wouldn't it? That would require this game not being stupid for five fucking seconds, though, so, you know. Oh, he's dying! Oh, we're in the lead! Go, 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 go! Alright, he was shitting the other corners back there. Oh, but I'm shitting this corner. Oh my god! Oh, get to the line! We did it! <laughs> what a race! Holy shit. That was wild. I got a fucking drift charm for that one. Ah, I deserved that win. Holy fuck. Well, that was probably the most enjoyable part of this entire playthrough so far. Uh, can I just say this game's been a bit of a chore? I mean, the fucking highway shit was a chore. The Wan Gone race, yeah, that was fucking boring. The drifting stuff has been non-stop hilarity. I, it has to be said. Like, this, there, there are very few games that have been this bipolar on this channel. I can't think of any, dude. One episode is thrilling, the other is... Well, Pooh's Party Game. Pooh's Party Game. There's like two or three episodes in there that are absolutely iconic staples of the channel, endlessly quoted to this day. And then there's fucking, you know, the first episode where nothing happens. Namukin. This is Namukin, who's also driving a fucking skyline. Kill these guys to be original. And fucking JC is awake at fucking... 4.12 a.m. messaging me. Known for his winning combination of comedic monkey man antics and raw drifting talent. Is that racism? Monkey man? Is that racism? Namukin is adored the world over. He has been called as... He has been called as... That's a phrase. The ultimate drifter and loudmouth talker. <laughs> you could have stopped at loudmouth. What is... Who wrote this? Was this translated directly from, like, Japanese to English, back to Japanese, and then back to English? He has been called as the ultimate drifter and loudmouth talker by his peers and drives this Eurus ER34 on the tote. While this sedan may not have the performance of a JTR, his driving prowess makes up the difference. Dubbed the Smokin' Drifter for his love of shredding tires, I would have assumed it was his love of 420, but hey, what do I know? Namukindra keeps the monkey magic alive on the toe. Wow. <laughs> what a fucking, uh... <laughs> what a biography. I'm sorry. I should play all of my games at 4 a.m. It's a, it's a subtle combination of, like... Uh, slow, uh, like sleep deprivation and localized slowly developing insanity. Can I just say that I've done nothing 
after getting back onto the overnight shift. This is my first recording session after getting back onto the overnight shift at work. And, uh, uh, it's such a chore drifting in this game. It's gotta be said, dude. It's gotta be said. That didn't count as fucking anything! Hello, bitch! Do you may- Whatever, I don't care. Like I fucking care, it's just gonna give me con side drifts anyway. Like it matters. Like it matters. It's just gonna be a fucking con side drift anyway. I am, um, very far behind him, actually. I mean, not after it finally counted a clutch kick, but like, you know. That's not what I did either. Okay, we are facing backwards. Hmm. Yeah. So the way that my work works is, uh... <laughs> gonna let that resonate for a second, is that, um, I get three days off. Four days on, three days off. This is the third day of a three days off stretch, and I have done nothing. I recorded some Vigilante 8 second offense. Um, I edited, like, some. <laughs> Not much, though. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that I have done absolutely fucking nothing with all my time off, and there's really not a lot that I can do. You see, the thing is, is I have a package sitting at the fucking post office because I can't be bothered to put it in the goddamn box or let alone set it outside my door. Oh my- why are you going backwards? <laughs> are we sure this is the guy that needs glasses? Instead of the last dude? Man's going the wrong way down the fucking- oh, whatever, dude. I don't care. I can't let myself get too far ahead, though, otherwise I'll fucking, uh... He'll magically start getting a thousand, ten thousand points, so... I not want that. Anyway, um... Yeah, there's a fucking package sitting at the goddamn post office that they can't be bothered to leave at my door. Well, I can't go and get it because the fucking post office is closed the entire time that I'm asleep. It's open from nine to 4.30. Motherfucker. I go to bed at like 7.30 and I'm like not up until like 6. If I'm lucky. Unless people keep fucking messaging me. You know. It's okay. Everyone- okay, so I may complain about fucking people interrupting me through Discord messages, like literally every playthrough, but like everyone that does it is literally the people that I love the most. So like, I, I, I don't want them to stop, but, like, also, stop. <laughs> Show me GT500 concept. He's still messaging me! <laughs> I have not responded to you in ten minutes. Get the hint. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that race done. Yeah. This playthrough's been something. This playthrough has been a uh, quite the uh, roller coaster ride, to say the least. And I mean, it's only made me think of games I'd rather be playing. Like I got a bunch of ideas that I've like spawned just by sitting here thinking about games I'd rather be playing. So I guess that's good. This this was a nice break. This was a nice easy game to play and just like sit back and just record a bunch of fucking shovelware content that I could just throw up on a YouTube for the next three months. <laughs> Just take a fucking vacation from this shit. Kenji Yamanaka! Why do I recognize this name? Kenji Yamanaka is one of Drifting's newest stars. He resides in the word I can't pronounce, Japan, where he has been drifting for the past eight years! He's, he's a new star, but he's been drifting for fucking an entire fucking presidency tenure. You know? Man's been, uh, sliding since Clinton was sliding his, uh, something-something into, uh, interns. I'm sorry. During the time, he earned his way into the top drift competitions in Japan, and has been able to walk away with top honors. Recently, Kenji has made his way into the fast-growing U.S. drifting scene, where he competes in the famous... Jick Magic USA <laughs> Nissan Silvia S15. Sounds like a racial slur. Using his aggressive style, he poses a threat to many of the U.S. drivers. Though he shows aggression on the track, he's liked among his fellow drifters as a kind, friendly, and sometimes goofy guy. 
<laughs> this Kenji hones his skill. Watch for him as he drifts his way onto the podium at every event. How the fuck? Every single biography in this game, they say that they drift their way to the podium. There's only three spots on the podium. They can't all be on there. Bruh. They can't all be on there. Man. Okay. Let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. Okay. And it's it's still a fucking Nissan, but at least it's not a skyline for once. Get some slightly original. Oh dear! Okay, that was legit. How the fuck is this guy running into invisible walls getting twice as many points as I did for that fucking drift? That was fucking sick. Oh my god. Alright, this dude's been drifting for eight years, supposedly. And he looks like a fucking clown. Still has more fucking points than me, of course. Drift, god fucking damn it. Alright, looks like I did not get any points in that fucking corner, so we are now officially... Uh... Half behind this motherfucker. Oh my god, you could you could count any point at any time. Oh, a pawn side drift. Gee, thanks. That was apparently a braking drift. I haven't touched the brakes this entire fucking time. The only brake I've touched is the e-brake. Like it fucking counts any of the fucking points when I do anyway. Like, look at this shit. Oh my god, it, there. That's the best drift I've had so far. Just running into the fucking wall. And this dude's facing backwards as well. Boy, this is just the fucking clown show to end all clown shows. This is really the final, the final enemies in this game. Oh my god, it's not counting any points. He is still back there. He is still yet to find his way out of that fucking corner. Give me points. No, no points. This dude's just gonna have a thousand fucking more points than me. I'm gonna have to do the fucking wiggle down the straightaway shit that I do in every game. There we go, there's some points. I can still pull this one out of my ass, don't don't you worry. If it just, you know, lets me. This is such a bad drifting game. Could you count some fucking points, maybe? Oh my god, yeah. He fucking spins fucking 360 shit. And he gets a, all this fucking points. Give me points. There we go. I'm back in it. Just like that, we're back in it. Uh. Uh -huh. This is so fucking bad, dude. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what I've been trying to do this entire playthrough, but it just has refused. Steadfastly. Steadfastly refused to let me have this. Oh, I just drifted again and got no points. Oh my god, we're just we're just sitting in the point. Please go forward. Alright. Well, looks like he's in front of me, which means I'm gonna be slowly losing points once he crosses the fucking line. No, never mind. He's facing backwards and getting points for flipping back around. Oh my god, he's gonna get a bunch of points for that. Oh my fucking god, this is awful. This is just so goddamn bad, dude. Give me points! Give me, give me points. Give me, give me points. There you go. There it is. All right, now we're talking. He's still in the lead. Of oh, fucking course. Points? No. Con side drift. I ask for points. It gives me con side drift. I I ask for fucking shelter. It gives me a cold shoulder. Oh my god. You don't give me love. You don't give me love. You don't give me points is what you don't fucking give me. This track sucks, by the way. Like, this track is awful. Like, there's no room to do anything. And the fucking... The engine that the points are based off of is so shit in tight, slow corners. Like, how many of these goddamn corners have we drifted, like, exactly like what I just did there? And it fucking just fucked me in the mouth. Man's still spinning back there. Let's just finish this shit before I fucking kill myself. <laughs> hey! Demonetization right at the end. How about that? 1969 Dodge Charger RT Hemi. Oh, we already had the 1969 Dodge Charger RT unlocked, but my goodness gracious, I could not live until we've unlocked the Dodge Charger 1969 RT Hemi. Mmm. Mmm. I truly have not lived until I've gotten the Hemi. What does Hemi stand for? Hot Evangelical Muslim integration. 
I do enjoy some uh, hot evangelical Muslim integration because I enjoy multiculturalism and I appreciate uh, viewpoints from all sides. And I like it when they uh, assimilate into cultures that would normally not appreciate them. This is a commentary on the Israel-Hamas conflict, which will hopefully be resolved by the time this is uploaded. Well, I mean, about as resolved as it can get, you know. Daijiro Toshihara! Oh my goodness! Over the course of this playthrough, we have not been looking at this guy's fucking drift tutorials. And now we finally face off against him. Daijiro has been a thrill seeker for me even before he can remember. At the age of 11, he discovered the excitement of throwing his bicycle around corners at high speed and skidding along the curbs in tight turns. Man was gonna fucking kill himself at age 11. At age 18, Dai got into his first car. This Toyota 11 unleashed his driving potential over years of attacking the windy roads of the Doshi Tog. <laughs> it was at this time that he discovered what he had actually been doing since childhood was drifting! In early 2003, Dai was invited to the US to drive the Pacific Rim! Sylvia S13 in a professional drifting competition. Having never competed, he made it all the way into the top 16 battle two exclamation points. Since then, he has taken multiple podium finishes and has earned the title of the man with the fastest entry speed at each event. <laughs> with only a few years of competition experience, he is already respected as a full-fledged professional by his peers. Since Divi vouched for you, Dai has agreed to take you under his wing and teach you the fundamentals of drifting. Don't let him down. Don't worry, I'm just like Third Eye Bly. I've never let you down. Well, then again, this is this fucking game. Daijiro, this fucking, fuck, dude, plot shit, you know? This plot shit. This isn't even the final battle of the zone. There's someone better than Daijiro, whatever his fucking name is. Can you believe it? I can't either, dude. Give me some points. That is not... That, mm. I got the lead, motherfuckers. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah, dude. Does anyone take this seriously? I don't think I could legitimately take any of this seriously. If I was watching this. Man, I don't think the developers could have taken this shit seriously. Like, there is no way. There is no way that anyone play-tested this. <laughs> like, there is no chance. Ooh, breaking drift! I didn't even touch the fucking brake, though! How is that a breaking drift? I didn't touch the brakes! Fucker. Give me clutch kicks. Give me anything? Oh, thanks for the 90 points. Great, thank you so much. Hello? Anything? Anything at all? No, nope, we're just gonna be 300 points back and not get any points at all. Oh my goodness, I just saw that on the minimap, and I'm not getting any fucking points. Wow, cool. I'm so glad that I'm not getting any fucking points whatsoever. Any day of the week that you're ready, motherfucker, to give me some fucking points. And we gotta do this shit on the fucking straightaways again. Uh, it's not giving me any points. And I'm a thousand points back again, and we're both facing backwards. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my goodness. This is happening. Anything? No, nope. fucking Kansai Drift. Oh, then we got a clutch kick while I'm actively fucking dying. That was worth 200, 400 points. You know. Tell, oh, there's another clutch kick. Oh, now we're talking. See, I finally figured it out. We just need to do clutch kicks in the middle of the fucking straightaways. That's how we do this. Hell yeah, I'm somehow winning this now. All right. Anything? No, another fucking Kansai Drift. No matter how hard I press this fucking clutch button, it doesn't care. It does not care. It will give me what it fucking gives me, and that's it. That's final. Okay, I'm a thousand points back again. He is literally sitting in the middle of the fucking straightaway waiting for me to catch up. He doesn't want to embarrass me, I guess. I think I'm embarrassed already. Oh, okay, there it is. That's what I needed right there. And a couple more of them, and we're gonna be in business. That is a wall. How am I still losing? That was a lot of fucking points. How am I still losing? Okay, clutch kick. It stopped counting the points as I was fucking drifting. 
There we go. All right, we're in good shape. No, we're not. We're still losing. We are still losing. We are still, to this day, losing. Oh my god, I can still win this! I just need to get over there before the fucking thing runs out. Go! Drive! I lost. Just like that. Anything? Consai Drift to save it? Yes! <laughs> Fuck you, game! Level 5 weight reduction is finally fucking available. How close was that? <laughs> that had to have been, uh, cutting it tight. A fucking Consai Drift is what saved me in the end, too. That's fucked up, man. That is fucked up. This game sucks. <laughs> This is the best you Technic game, and it's horrible. Okay, I got a lot of points right there at the end. All right, I think it's I think it's thumbnail time. See, the most annoying part about this is if I actually legitimately tried to like do drifting, it would just stop counting the points mid drift, and I'd just be getting consigned drift. So I'd just be getting a hundred points per corner. Like if I actually legitimately tried to do this without literally just throwing the car around, just begging for points. Like, this fucking drift, the game, the physics engine, it's not terrible. Like, in the grip battle that we did to start this fucking episode off, that wasn't even that bad. And this camera angle, speaking of bad, fucking that camera angle, we were just sitting there carpooling, just hanging out. That would have been a great thumbnail opportunity, but no, it just fucking glues the camera to the fucking mountainside. We're not getting a good thumbnail at all in this fucking shit. Oh my god, stop doing onboard shots. But like, the physics engine isn't even that bad, it's just the way that the points are scored is fucking cancerous. The physics engine is not terrible. When we're legitimately trying to play the game and like doing grip battles and stuff, it's, 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 it's kind of fun actually. But like, when it's this, like when you're just begging the game to just give you fucking points, like how is this supposed to be, how is, who designed this shit? Anyway, who's the final boss of the game? Oh, it's someone that nobody knows the name of. Oh. It's someone completely irrelevant to the fucking film franchise and to this game. It's just some dude. Probably a fucking game developer knowing this shit. Kazuya Bai. Hello, what are you like? Kazuya Bai has been part of the automotive world since his birth in Osaka on February 5th, 1974. <laughs> he is younger than Nick Knack, interestingly. His father owned an auto paint shop, and for as long as he can remember, he has been interested in cars. At the age of 15, Kazoo felt the rush of drifting for the first time in his older brother's Toyota 8086, and was forever changed. The car was totaled while drifting, leaving Kazuya with severe damage to his chest and several gashes to his head. Despite this, he started drifting at the age of 16 and has been competing in events ever since. In 2002, Kazoo became a champion in the Kansai region of Ikaten and came in second place in all of Japan. In 2002 and 2003, he was recognized as a Kansai Drift King and has gone on to perform drifting demos in the US and Australia. On top of all this, Kazuya owns a tuning shop called Westco in Osaka and is spreading his luxury drift car brand, 7777 Motoring. And that is his entire biography. Is this the first character with a fucking birth date attached? And it is, in fact, a drift battle, so the final... This is the final boss of the game! Unless the fucking roll-up races have a final boss attached to them. <laughs> Super Ultra Mega roll-up race, I don't know, dude. Anyway. Here we go! One last trip down this stupid mountain. <laughs> and one last flailing about, hoping for this shit to be, you know, good. Like, I was gonna say, let's try legitimately getting some points this time. And, like, actually trying to get through this shit. Like, you know, any other fucking game. But then I realized, I've been doing that this entire fucking time, and it has not been giving me points. And I'm still behind, so that's cool. That's not a consai drift, fuckbag. Yeah, he's probably not getting consai drifts, he just automatically, every single drift that he does is just an automatic clutch kick and he gets all the fucking bonus points. Can I please get some points? Can I please get some points? At any moment! Anytime you're ready to start giving me points. 
for all this shit that I've done. No, we're still not getting any points at all. All right, looks like we still are not getting any fucking points whatsoever. And this dude is just getting handed points on a silver fucking platter. Oh, thanks for the consai drift. You could not have timed that better when we actually were getting points. That's the only time that I ever fucking get points is when it's a goddamn consai drift. Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah, there's 400 fucking points right there. Oh, another consai drift. Wow, what are the odds of that? I'm still a thousand points back. Because this shit fucking blows. I've got a minuscule lead. Let's see how long this lasts. I'm gonna assume not long. Ugh. I just keep forcing it to give me uh, clutch kick points. And it's it's working. I will say it's working. Oh, he just got like 600 points. That's cool. I, I'm, gl I'm glad for him. I'm glad that he just gets points dumped onto him. Just by virtue of existing. Meanwhile, I actually try and drift. And all I get are fucking Kansai drifts! Ugh. Yep, he's still just 500 points behind me, by the way, because, you know... Fucking fairness and all that. Incredibly fair things have happened throughout this event. Throughout this entire playthrough. Yeah, this is the final race, by the way. This is the part where I'm supposed to be, like, reflecting on... ...the experience of playing this shitbag game. And my only reflection is... Any time that we're doing anything in this game, that was that was a really good drift, actually. Okay, finally at the end it's decided. Yeah, and somehow I'm fucking behind after those amazing sets of drifts. Somehow I am behind. Come on, give me the points. All that this game has been this entire time is just I'm reminded of better games and games that I would rather be playing much more interesting exp and well put together experiences that are, you know, like, actually like legitimate video games and whatnot. And all I want to do is just play something else. Fast and Furious game! This is the best fucking Eutechnics game. And we've unlocked a bunch of stuff, so that's cool. I guess. <laughs> But in any case, that's gonna do it. That is the end of this game. Known as the Fast and Furious. Fast and the Furious. I'll make that distinction. There is the Fast and the Furious, and there's the movie Fast and Furious, and you know, it's just it's just all around just not a good time. But I still love this franchise. It is fantastic. It is just great stuff to just turn your brain off and enjoy Oh dear. Congratulations! You've completed the Fast and the Furious and have won against the best of the best in Tokyo. Daijiro has given you a specific rim Nissan Silvia S13. Be careful out there! Keep up your f keep your fast cars off the streets and on the tracks. <laughs> oh my god, and in the end, it was just a fucking drive sober or pull over fucking... Oh my god, PSA. You're kidding me, dude. Oh, man. And there you have it. Fast and Furious on PS2. Yeah, I mean, see, when you're playing the game, like when you're doing grip battles, and you're actually trying to race against someone and the physics engine is actively working against you the whole time, but once you start figuring out what's going on, it's not that bad. This isn't that bad of a game. This, I think, is the best physics engine that Eutechnics ever built. I think this is the most in-depth, like, design stuff. Like, the paint booth is fantastic. The highlight of this game is the paint booth, even though everything is so low res you can't even fucking read it. I still think it's great. Just being able to create monstro monstrous creations on there is just been... I think that's the highlight of this playthrough, honestly. Besides the bios, the bios, I don't know if the bios were intentionally made as ridiculous as possible, but I thoroughly enjoyed them. That was, that was another good part of this. But sadly, playing the game, playing the actual game, that was not great. And I've literally never played this game outside of the first time that I completed it, and this playthrough, so... There's not a lot of replayability factor in this. I mean, there's 40 fucking roll-up races, and it's like... What? Monica Lewinsky! 
That's who Bill Clinton was inserting things into. Monica Lewinsky, that's right. I was thinking about that the entire time, trying to figure that shit out. Um, but yeah, it's playing this game, it's just, when I'm sitting here just playing the game, and it's like, I don't really feel anything. I don't feel anything, especially on the Wong Gong. Like, the drift races fucking hilarious like that was a good time but as we got later into the game and the tracks got worse and the game just was giving me cone side drifts and nothing but cone side drifts got stupid there at the end but in all honesty this game is fine jordan butters <laughs> man's name is butters oh my goodness golly uh yeah oh hamburgers indeed Speaking of that, I can go for some fucking burgers, dude. That sounds good. I've done nothing but eat my three-day weekend. I've done literally nothing but eat. I got on the scale when I woke up, and I was like, are you fucking serious? I didn't think I ate that much, but apparently I did. Apparently I did. And I am fucking just rotund. I am rotund as fuck. I'm going to need to buy, like, XL shirts again. I'm so fat. But, you know, this game... See, that's the sad part, is that this is the best you Technics game. <laughs> oh, but there are others. There are other you Technics games, and I have, in the back of my mind, an idea of building up a couple of you Technics game playthroughs to a crescendo that would actually count towards... The Redemption Tour. Y'all remember the Redemption Tour? I played this game specifically to get away from the Redemption Tour. I just wanted to play a game that I could just sit back, turn my brain off, and just talk to YouTube about whatever the fuck I thought about. Here, let's look at the music credits. Around the World, performed by Tom Salta. I uh, gotta spread the word. I don't know any of these songs. Hime is in this game. Himahaji 2006 was my favorite song from this game when I was younger. Oh my goodness, Hime has so many songs in this. Yeah, this is all like fucking imported Japanese music. I don't think there's any American music in this. Which is good. That's nice. It's, it's, it, that's what I really like about these fucking PS2 racing games. Is that it exposes you to so many different songs. So much different music. There are so many... I would have never heard of moving units if I, ne if I didn't play Juice. I would never have heard... Of, like, fucking, un maybe I would have heard an unwritten law if I hadn't played uh, Midnight Club 3, but you know what I'm trying to say, man? I never would have listened to Hime if I never played this fucking game. So, like, that's what I appreciate the most about, like, fucking Need for Speed, dude. Need for fucking Speed. That's how I discovered Static X. My god, dude. That's insane to think about. Is that an entire facet of my personality? Jared Leto had a song. Oh yeah, it's 30 Seconds to Mars. Yeah, that, that would that would entail Jared Leto being a part of this shit. Yeah, an entire facet of my personality, Static X. Never would have heard of him if it hadn't been for Need for Speed Underground 1. Wow, that's fucked up, man. Of all the fucking games. <laughs> that game sucks. Speaking of games that suck, this one kind of does. It's pretty mid. That's DK. I'm driving his car. Wait, can I face off against the boss in their own car? This feels, this feels like a time paradox, like dividing by zero, fucking black hole's gonna open up and suck in everything. Suck in all of Japan. The yeah, tragedy on the, on par with Nagasaki. Okay, yep, yeah, we are in fact, we are in fact racing against DK, driving DK's car. This is happening. Ah, yeah, this is happening. Well, I guess this is probably the best place to conclude this episode and this opening stanza of the playthrough and the opening stanza of a potential Eutechnics marathon. That's what I was thinking, man. We should do a Eutechnics marathon. Oh my god, JC is still messaging me 43 minutes and 15 seconds later. Anyway, until next time... This has been the Fast and the Furious. Like I said, I might do a live stream of me doing the, uh, all the fucking 40 of the roll-up races if people really care that much about this game. Yeah. But in any case, thank y'all so much for watching. This has been Kamikaze Games, playing some games, and yeah. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you whatever it is we do next. Bye! Ah, where's my rape whistle?